Round them up. It's going to be February 17th for sale, 1968-1969 through 1969 Dodge Charger. This search request comes from multiple subscribers. We had a couple one to see 69s, had another one to one to see 68 and 69. So here they are. We finally got around to doing the Charger search again. If that's something you're liking the sounds of is us looking up cars that are currently for sale for our subscribers. Well, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe below and drop in the comments the make and model you're looking for, and I'll round them up for you. So it's not only one car that's for sale today, and it's not mine. This is the pick of the day. This is the one I would go check out. If I had to buy a 68 or 69 Dodge Charger. So with that said, let's get to all the cars we did find. And it's going to be Facebook, Marketplace, and Craigslist. So I know we've had some questions lately. How do I find those cars? Well, if you want to find those cars, you got to go on either of those platforms, whatever one we're on. So this is Facebook Marketplace. You'd have to go to Facebook Marketplace, Connecticut area, 68 Dodge Charger parts. That's how it's listed, 2500 bucks. That's a great starting price for this car. I gotta tell you, because I looked through a bunch to find the, the limit today is forty thousand, and I looked through a bunch of cars that were fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. So a six-figure car, easy. They've been overpriced. These cars have been overpriced for the last two decades at least. So I know if I was gonna buy one, I sure in the hell wouldn't pay a hundred thousand dollars for one that was just painted, because it's hard to say unless they got restoration pictures where they didn't pound ten tubs of bondo into it. There's no way I'd pay good money for one of these. So we don't have to really worry about it in this search. 40000 I doubt we see a nice one. Because there's people still wanting 50000 for just junk-ass projects, in my opinion. $50,000 and they don't even run type of search right here. So it is what it is. I don't make up the prices. I don't own any of these. And if you don't like my opinion, then you, know, you don't have to watch a channel. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to watch. So if you're that one guy that's always hitting the thumbs down, and I say just one guy... Because it's just one person throughout three and a half years almost of doing these rounding them ups. And we're almost up to 4,400 subscribers. Big thank you to all you people out there that are subscribing and watching and digging what we're doing. Finding cars currently for sale for enthusiasts that would like to find one. Well, that's what we're doing here rounding them up. And this is the cheapest one. So if you wasn't looking to spend over five grand on one, hit this guy up. He's got the cheapest one right here. You see what you're getting. Nothing. A roof rockers a tail pan i don't know all what he's got you'd have to hit him up it 2500 bucks it's got to be a deal right it says 68 charger 2500 bucks connecticut that's how you find it facebook marketplace on to another one so this could be the best deal of the day right here too if you want to spend under 10 grand, this would be the one to go get probably right here. 1968 Dodge Charger Project. Cars. So you're getting two of them. Yep. Posted four days ago, Massachusetts. He says he got a 68 Dodge Charger, blue project car. Was born yellow, automatic, 3-3. Big block. A two-barrel car. No motor, no transmission in it now. And it's a rotted Charger. Could be a great project to fix. That's what he actually had the, the courage to say. Was this could be a great project to fix. Uh, if he considers this a great project. I'd hate to see what a bad project would be. Everything that's worth any kind of money. Other than a little bit of glass. That probably ain't worth shit. This is all faded out. With. There's nothing here. A title and he don't even have the fender tag. He has a dash van. Hopefully that's the title he has. I can't make the shit up, man. Ninety five hundred bucks. So if you're looking to spend under ten grand, there's what you get for a charger. And that's why these cars are no more appealing to me. I mean, I used to love these cars. Grew up watching Dukes of Hazard. There's no way I would pay what these people are asking. This isn't even a charger. This is a Coronet. So this is a '69 Coronet for ten grand. He's got it listed as a charger. Yeah, this is not a charger. Sitting in an enclosed trailer, which is a good spot for it to be sitting. That could be a good deal. Alabama, 21 weeks ago. 21 weeks. Because mainly Charger people looking at it and they can tell right off the bat it's not even a Charger. On to another one. But that's what I'd recommend. If you're Mopar and you want a B-body, just pick a different... Just don't pick a Charger. They're just... I don't know. I can't explain it on how much people are paying for them. Because they have to be paying it. Or otherwise these people wouldn't be posting them like this. And to think if you own this one right here... How the hell are you going to let it sit in your backyard and look like that when you know they're bringing, people are asking six figures for them? You're going to let one sit in your backyard and look like that? 
I mean, hit in the comments. Would you not pressure wash this up and primer this and try to get at least 25000 The back sail pan areas were even in good shape. I mean, that is remarkably nice compared to what these usually look like right here. This is usually all Swiss cheese. So you see it sitting in the backyard, 10 grand, 68. That might be one to go get. Don't have a hood or a trunk in it. But other than that, it's our best offer. No title. There's no title even for it. So who knows where they stole it from? On to another one. I can't believe the people is selling shit like 10 grand, no title. 1968 Dodge Charger 105. So go buy that $9,500 pile of junk and the other car for 10, and even for 20 grand, you'll probably still be doing better than what you're going to see throughout this episode. But again, I don't own these cars, and I sure in the hell haven't made up the prices that they're trying to bring. So 1968 Dodge Charger here, 10.5. Listed a week ago in Georgia. I do like the wheels. No taillights, no glass, no interior does have a piece of grills right there so the grill could be worth three grand if it's a nice grill so i mean why wouldn't you show it if it had a nice grill set it out here and take a picture of a nice grill that goes with it that's my opinion that's what you're looking for and that's your area check it out georgia you're not gonna get a title on to another one 1969 dodge charger here fourteen thousand. yep it's got wheels you know, less than 13 weeks ago, Massachusetts again. Might be the same guy as the crazy last guy. Look at the fuck. Can't make this shit up, man. The torsion bar areas are gone. So, the easiest way to fix it, just put a straight axle in this when you're done and make it a gasser. You're still going to pay 14000 for this. There's a bunch of parts. I don't know, that might be 14000 in parts when it comes to charger parts. Because that's why everybody's picked them clean. They look like they've been picked to death. Because people have taken all this stuff off and often on eBay. I already made 100000 on it and they still want uh, 14000 for a carcass. On to another one. 1968 Dodge Charger, 15000 I even go into these episodes thinking, man, just be cool. Show people what they want to see, what people are asking for them. Put a, put a reasonable cutoff, 40000 I mean... You can buy a house for forty thousand dollars, so we did make the cutoff at forty thousand. And I think throughout all of the rest of rounding them ups, we're not going to show any more cars over forty thousand. What's the purpose of me showing those cars? I don't get percentages. The way that I get paid back is just subscribe to the channel, leave comments that you loved what I'm doing, hit the thumbs up. That's all it costs to be a part of the channel. I don't charge people finder fees, and I don't get commissions. So you know, to sell somebody's car for fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm good. This thing's running out pretty bad. But it is all together. You know, that's I always say in episodes, you're going to find a project, man. Find one that's all together. Find one that's not been picked clean of all the eBay goodies that people do with these. And somebody's definitely not done that. Because these little side markers are worth, I don't know, 150 bucks a piece. The taillights even look like they're not cracked up. So there's one. Check it out. That's your area. That might be worth fixing. It's 15000 it's got an engine in it. It's got a grill in it. It's got glass in it. That's the way to find one right there. Listed a week ago, North Carolina. The big deal would be no title. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hopefully, you already got a title. Because it's going to need one. On to another one. 1968 Dodge Charger. Yes, that's how you would punch it in. California area. Facebook Marketplace. 16501. I don't know what's up with the 501. That's what he wants for it. So he got a trailer wheel in the back. He did have some aluminum slots laying inside of it. 68 Dodge Charger. It's a 318 car. It says console. So it had bucket seats originally. I don't know. It looked like a forklift backed into the quarter panel. He cut the quarter off because it looked so bad. So he didn't pull it first. So if there's any inner structure damage in the frame rail, it could have been pulled out before you cut the quarter off. If you're going to do something like this, always pull it first. On to another one. 1968 Dodge Charger, we're at $20,000. Yep, just that quick. Not even halfway through, $20,000. We go to forty, dollars so I guess that's about right. 1968 Dodge Charger, twenty grand. North Carolina posted a week ago. It's an automatic in this one. The 68 Charger. People want to know these keep going up in price. He's going to tell you about how they're all overpriced. They are, and this one's probably overpriced too. Twenty thousand. It. 
I don't know, I had an engine there, but sure in the hell. Don't look like it runs, but it does. So there you go. There's your pick of the day. Can't drive it. It's got a lifter tap. But it runs. So what I was about to say is it doesn't run for 20 grand. I was wrong. It runs, so it's got to be worth 20 grand. Prices just keep going up. Read his ad. On to another one. 1969 Dodge Charger. I know it's not people that know how to fix cars, work on cars, and paint cars that are paying the money that these cars are bringing. There's just no way. I mean, 1969 Dodge Charger, 27.5. Listed two days ago, California. Could be the nicest car in the episode. It's a pretty decent car. Seen it, the motor's yanked out. Sitting right there is a big block going with it. 69 Dodge Charger with a 68 front clip. Clean California pink slip. Missing the fender tag. Originally a 383. Has a little rust. And have the original 383 with it and a 440. Both. 727 automatic. So there you go. 27.5. That's a decent project, beyond a doubt. So it doesn't cost you 80000 90000 100000 to have one. You could actually fix this car right here and be up and driving it this year, but twenty seven five. That's where we're at two days ago. Check him out. California's your area. It's got a 68 front end on it. I didn't even notice at first. It did say 69. So the grill alone costs you three grand. Hopefully you can get like 2500 out of this one. You'll be able to buy the right grill for it. On to another one. It's be a 1969 Dodge Charger green, gold, and black. That's how they've got it listed. $29,751. I don't know what's up with the $1, man. Listed nine weeks ago. California again. Got wagon wheels on the front. Uh, $318 in it. Does have a dash and seats. and Got to appreciate door skins that have been butchered up. At least they're there, right? So it looks like a complete car. Again, how I say you should find a project. 15000 25000 No, he wants 29751 is what it's listed for. So everything we've looked at so far is currently listed for sale as of February 17th. And they've all been on Facebook Marketplace. So this is going to be our first one. You'd have to go to Craigslist and punch in, oh, first we need the area, Los Angeles, punch in 1969 Dodge Charger. You would have found this, but he'll have to relist it. It's been on here about a month, which means it's been on here 30 days, and that's all the longer a Craigslist ad is allowed to be on here. So if you don't look it up tonight, he'll have to have reposted it for you to see it again. But no fears. I don't think anybody's rushing in at the last minute to buy it. You see what it looks like. It wants 33000 for this. First running driving car we've seen. Yep. On to another one. Back to Facebook Marketplace, 1968 Dodge Charger, 35000 we're at. Well, he had all that money for them new school wheels, but man. At least, you know what? At least it's not primered up. So, I mean, is it 35000 It is. And is it really rough? Oh, absolutely. But you're not buying something that's shiny paint where you're not seeing what kind of Bondo's already in it. So, man, look at all the money laying right here. We got ten grand in grills. I don't know which one you're getting. You'd have to read him out. It's $35,000, and it's in Ohio. Nine weeks it's been on here. There's the description if you want to read it. Again, you'd want to get online and look it up. You can find this ad. You just go to Ohio, punch in 68 Dodge Charger. It'll come up. On to another one. As long as it ain't, I don't know, it'll come up probably a couple years from now. So, well, the prices people are asking, these cars are not flying off the shelves 1968 dodge charger 35,000 again listed eight weeks ago chicago illinois freshly primered and it looks straight with nice floors so i don't know what all the goodies are going to cost you to throw back on this car but if you're going for a pristine looking car you're going to need pristine parts to put back on it or it's just going to look i don't know probably like one of my comments I don't know if he has the parts or not, but what he's got right there does look extremely nice. Someone's put some work into it. How much Bondo? Well, I don't know. Take a magnet. You can assure yourself it's had quarters put on it, rockers put in it. On to another one. 
and it's almost the same kind of deal. So thirty-five thousand dollars, like I said off the bat, a couple of those first cars for ten grand, you could buy those, primer them up, and here's what guys are asking for: just primer shells. Well, who knows how much Bondo in it? This one is a '69. Eight weeks ago, North Dakota. That's how you find it. it says RT, and it's equipped with a manual transmission. So there's one I'd want, but not for no thirty-five thousand dollars. On to another one. This one's got the grill and some parts back on it for just another grand. Atlanta. It's going to be Georgia, so you're going to get a bill of sale. 1969 Dodge Charger Project. Well, maybe it's the original General Lee car they use down there. Hazard County. Check him out. It's got the tan interior, too. It's probably what they were shooting for was a General Lee. It's a project, and it's not a running car. $36,000. Can't make shit up. On to another one. It's going to be Washington, D.C. Again, I'm showing you where they're at. Washington, D.C. And it's going to be on Craigslist three days ago. 68 Dodge Charger, and we're at our limit. 40000 So it looks like a drag car picture at night. That really showed a lot. Uh, seriously. 40000 and that's what he put on here for photos. Hit him up. That's what you're looking for. Spend forty thousand dollars and not really get to see the car till you get there. And there you go. Looks like it's got the double stripes on the back. Look like a race car. But there's a shot under the hood. On to another one. 1968 Dodge Charger 440. That's how he's got it listed. Forty thousand dollars again. Thirteen weeks ago, Arizona. Nice looking 68. Looks like a drag car. It is. So it's set up to go racing. That's what you're looking to do. I think that's a bit much, but that's me. It does have an engine trans drivetrain in it. Drivetrain worth forty grand. Probably not getting a title. The way it's set up, I don't think you're gonna need one. So with that all said, that's what we found. And without a doubt, my pick of the day is probably the one I really would go look at if I had to have one of these. So 1968 Dodge Charger, North Dakota gets the pick of the day. So that don't happen often. 13,000, three weeks it's been on here and it still hasn't sold. Automatic transmission, complete project car, needs rust repair, has a 9 running 318, 727 with a clean title in his name. That's all you get for description. So it does have some remnants of a grill, so you're going to be putting out some money for a grill. It's going to need lower quarters at least. Back window, front window. I like it's got the buddy seat, the right 68 seats, complete dash still in it. It's going to be one of the big repairs you're going to have to fix right here. It's a cracked frame rail right in front of the lee spring. So it's ripped all the way across the trunk pan. This is going to need to be fixed, but it's no big deal. you got to put a trunk pan in it anyway and lower quarters, probably inner trunk extensions. So you'll be able to get right in there to get to that. But that's not the biggest repair. This is going to be the biggest repair. I think this piece right here cost about $700. I don't know. Some of you guys are going to pay around $1,200 to get it shipped. But this is going to need to be replaced. This holds your torsion bar. So both torsion bars are going to have to come out. You have to fix up the floor pans and re-weld this piece in. They do sell it. It's available. You can get it right off of eBay. That's a car I'd check out. Yep, needs some major metal repair. But most of it's there, including a title. 13000 North Dakota. I think you can't get there fast enough to buy that. So it does need some extensive repairs. But trust me when I tell you. If we would have showed 50,000 through 100,000 quarter million dollar cars, we'd be looking at them for another three hours. That's how many are posted for over 50 G. So that's our search. I know a lot of people don't like that I pick rusty projects, but you know, this channel started off with us trying to find cars that anybody could afford to go buy. So that's why you would get on here, subscribe, drop your request, and then I find you ones in certain areas. And I usually do the whole lower 48. I know some recently we've had some people say that. Man, I'm in a certain area. Can you look them up here? I'm going to look them up in that area, but I'm also going to check all the lower 48. So every episode you see, I've looked through the lower 48 for all these cars. So Hope you all have enjoyed the search. Hit that big thumbs up if you did. That's how you pay it forward. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.